some prisoners, they get so good at flying changes, they don't always, you have to go back to the counter counter because they forget the counter counter with show jumping. Now it's a little spooky, right up to it, right up to it, right up to it, not rough, but make him address what he spooks at. Here's your half turn in reverse. And a little shoulder in counter. This is much harder than in the trot for the horse. Go straight again. Go straight again. Make the horse straight on the outside rein. Make a simple change. Walk the horse. Change the flexion to the left and left counter. Counter counter. You'll see the half halt is a take and a give. It's very simple. Make it a little stronger by your arms or weight, but it's simply a take and give that regulates the speed and the balance of the horse. I had an equal pressure on both reins. Well, the outside rein, of course, is dominant. There's quite an equal pressure on both reins. Most people, they ride too much on the inside rein. Elected canter is very, very slow with very short steps where the horse mustn't break rhythm, mustn't break stride. He has to shorten and slow the speed to keep the rhythm of the canter. It's very taxing. Don't ask that too long. Let him relax and go to an ordinary canter. Ask it again. Very good for the horse, collected canter. Sit deeper, sit straighter. Keep your legs ready in case the horse breaks. But ask him for the half halt. You'll see the outside rein is dominant. You'll see the take and the give in the rain, the flutter of the rain, when I ease off the rain. It's not just pulled from the horse. Well, back the horse up. First, bring your legs back. That keeps the horse in a straight shoot. But you back a horse just like a downward transition you back a horse with your hands, not very strong with your legs. It's not necessary. 